Hey everyone, it's Eva Migajono. Welcome back to more Pokemon and Welcome back to more Pokemon Ranger. Sorry, I'm still used to saying Pokemon Neighborhood for some reason. Anyway, last time we got here to the Ranger base after saving a couple of Pokemon and actually stopping a tree from burning down. This episode, we're gonna do our first mission or second mission, whatever. Did you hear that? That was a Pokemon's cry. It came from over there. Over there. So yeah, this episode, we are going to be patrolling Ringtown. Not be our second mission. What am I going on about? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, my darling Peek. Uh, Peek. <laughs> Halo, not Pico. Jeez. I'm suddenly Mr. Brian and then Pokemon. Mr. Briny and Pokemon Emerald all over again. Yay. Larry's Taylor's being a jerk again. And Larry's being useless again. We have to catch a Taylor and get, wait. That's not her voice. We have to catch a Taylor. It's Larry's Taylor. And we can't do anything. Jono, look, look at the mining. And it's using its uh, poke assist. The Taylor is shocked and can't move. Jono, there's a chance. Okay, so while this thing is paralyzed, I guess you can circle it easily without it moving, which I still sucked at. It's so hard on the computer, I'm not kidding. You did it, Jono! Well, if it isn't Jono, you're catching my darling Taylor again. I owe you big time. Larry, can you tell me something? Why was the Taylor chasing the mining? Well, this is what happened. When my darling Taylor came back to me, I was beside myself. I was so happy. So I was happily petting my precious one over and over. Bet you were. Oh, I think the little miner became jealous of how my darling was getting all my attention. So it started bugging my precious Taylor. My Taylor tried to ignore it for a while, but that miner was so persistent, my darling finally became furious. I see. Miner, you'd better apologize to this Taylor right now. And then miner apologizes to Taylor. That's miner. Maybe it's lonesome. That's just a feeling I get anyway. Darling Taylor, let's forgive that little Milan and go home, okay? Okay. Go away now! Sick of seeing you, Larry. I'm gonna kill you! I swear to God. <sighs> Larry already said it, but maybe this Milan is feeling lonely. Look at how much it's taking to you already, Jono. It really wants to be babied. Babied? What? Jono and Milan connected emotionally. Mine is registered to Poke Browser on the browser. Sorry, what the hell, Poke Browser? Um, yeah, the text on the top screen is really screwed on emulators for Ranger. But anyway, it's Poke Assist. It's called Discharge, which is pretty useful. Jonah, do you maybe know this little guy from before? Can you tell me about it? Is that right? I didn't even say anything. You saw any false cities harbor? No, I'm lying. It was in a fight with the Houndoom right in the town. No, it was in a fight with a Jinx. Then it comes to your leg and had to bring it to Ringtown, Jono. Wow, I guess a lot happened in a short time. Nah, it happened over a period of about four years, Solana. So anyway, this mining is now going to be our partner Pokemon. Yeah! That's settled then! Lucky you, Miner. From now on, you and Jono are officially partners. Let's get back to patrolling, Miner. You're with us now. Okay, so I guess while we're patrolling, we can have a look around Ringtown. Did you know in the, in the Fiore region, Pokemon come in different groups? Did you know this then? There are 17 different groups of Pokemon. Did you really know that? Shut up, you stupid kid. Oh, aren't you a lovely couple? Are you an item already? Or is one of you about to ask the other out? Or perhaps you're just a pair of rangers out on patrol. <laughs> I knew right from the start. I couldn't help teasing you. Stupid old man. I didn't even know why I gave him that voice. What a retarded voice for an old man. Oh, well, I guess it makes him sound like a creepy pedophile. Ugh, I don't even know what I'm going on about anymore. Little girl. What's my favorite Pokemon? Can you guess? Pikachu. It's because it's so adorable. Everyone's favorite Pokemon is Pikachu. Why? It's stupid. Climate is always like springtime in, spring in Ringtown. It's very pleasant to live in, but it also makes you very tired. You yawn. Don't do that. Please, for the love of God, don't yawn. This TV is perfect for this room. I wonder what's on. Well, how about we go and see what's on? 
Anyway, um, let's go to this house here now, I guess. Oh, come on, get inside. Yeah, let's just, you know, rape the wall of the house. Larry's daughter. I'm sorry for all the trouble my father put you through. It's okay that he adores his Pokemon, but he goes... Oh, wow, I keep pressing A way too early. Oh, well. Oh, well. Jono, right? I sure appreciate your help. That's all you had to say. Screw you, Larry. Oh, wow. Hiccups. Okay. Oh, this guy lives by, all by himself. Young guy. I wish I had a partner Pokemon like the one you have. Must be fun to go walks with in the places like Lyra Forest. I love how they just call them like ridiculous names. It's just like young guy. Little girl. Wow. That's pretty weird. Ah, oh, well. Let's go back inside the base and report to Spencer. Reporting back from patrol, leader. Welcome back to both of you. Oh, which miner is that? Could it be the same miner that tagged along with us from Fall City? That's right, it is. We happen to come across it while we were on patrol. Why does people always interrupt when the main protag is meant to speak? The protag should be allowed to talk in Pokemon games. It just frustrates the crap out of me how they don't talk. Oh, don't they have a mind of their own? Anyway, let's, I mean, the one thing I have to, ha have to say about the beginning of the Ranger games, there is so much dialogue, it isn't even funny. Like seriously, the whole three episodes, we've, or two and a half so far, episodes that we've had, half of it's just been dialogue, it's absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, Spencer's just going on about here how we're allowed to have a single partner as, well, po single Pokemon as our partner, I guess. Sorry, it's like late at night that I'm recording this, my brain's not entirely with it. Um, okay. I hope your mining grows into such, a, into such a supportive partner Pokemon. I'll teach you about mining special ability. You see, my plus is the same type as yours, so I'm familiar with it. Okay, so here she's going to go on about how you can use your partner Pokemon's power. See that little bar underneath the health bar, I guess, for your catcher style up? Well, that bar is your partner Pokemon's energy or liking, whatever, I don't know partner energy, there you go. Um, so every single time you draw a loop around an enemy Pokemon or a target Pokemon, that bar will, like, grow. So it's sort of like experience, but it's not really experience at the same time. So see how it's growing since she's drawing circles around the war turtle there. Um, the war turtle, sorry, not war turtle, whatever. Um, once that bar becomes full, you can use the Poke Assist of the, your current partner Pokemon. So all we have to do is click on the little icon there, and then the screen will switch to that. She's suddenly battling a freaking mudkip. What the hell? Ah, uh, so touch any Pokemon on the screen. Um, so any of the Pokemon that you have, you can use the Poke Assist of it. In this case, it's going to be Mine and Discharge, uh, which will paralyze the target Pokemon, so it'll make it easier to catch her. Um, so all you got to do is click Poke Assist there. Okay, I guess the Mudkip's one of her partner Pokemon or whatever. Part of her team. Um, no, no, we don't need it be, be taught again. It's ridiculous how much enough while... I can't even talk right tonight. Ridiculous how much dialogue there already is in this game. Alright, so Ly Solana's gonna go to Lyra Forest. That's her mission. We're gonna get a different mission very soon. You know, I'm burning with ambition again. I'm going to work that much harder knowing that I have a new go-getter and a rival one at our Ranger base. Screw you, Solana. Okay, um... Oh, confound it all. I became disoriented in that wretched liar at Forest again. Oh, but that's beside the point. Spence, a long time though. See, I trust you. You've been well. Oh, now who might this be? That unfamiliar youngster is the rookie wrong ranger you've been taught. Tell him. Tell me about. I can't even freaking read right tonight either. God. It's good to see you again, Professor Hastings. Wait, why don't I give you Professor Hastings' voice? Uh, anyway, as you've seen, he's our new rookie, Jono. Oh, hello, Jono. I'm Hastings. Glad to meet you. There's no need to be formal with me. You may just call me Professor if you'd like. Incidentally, Professor, I wanted to speak to you about the, the new styler you left here. I think you called it the Super Styler? Well, it sure lives up to its name. It really is quite outstanding. But it also worries me too. If one were to ever fall in the hands of criminals, 
Gee, I wonder who those criminals are. You are needlessly. Superstar's existence is known only to the ranger leaders of the four ranger bases. Oops, I was rather loud, wasn't I? But no matter, the Superstyler is merely a prototype. Incidentally, Spencer, this is a strictly strict between us, but I had a flash of inspiration. I have an idea that will power up the Superstyler. Couldn't wait to share this idea with you, so I took the long journey all the way from Fall City on foot. So the brilliant idea I have... And then he gets cut off. Well, he doesn't get cut off. Uh, yes, Professor, just, uh, please hold on a second. Listen, Jono, can you please do me a favor? Go upstairs and check on my bureau. That'd be right now. So anyway, yeah, I didn't mention earlier that you can go upstairs in this place. Well, now you know. Uh, so anyway, up here is... A Dragonite. Wow, okay. And a Fero. Oh, you're asking about a Fero. Interesting up. It must be tired from carrying both you and the leader at the same time. There's nothing to be worried about. It's quite tough, so it'll be back to its regular self in no time. But as tough as it is, it's not so tough that it can carry two fully grown men. I'm thinking maybe I'll have to escort the good professor back home. Maybe that's our next mission. We don't know yet because we haven't found out what our next mission is yet. Uh, whatever. All right, so let's go back downstairs. Have to talk to that guy about the hero. So how do our Fero look? Mm -hmm. I see. Okay, thanks. Oh yes, John, I have a new mission for you. Professor Hastings will be walking back to Fall City, or Prof Hastings. Johnny, your job is to escort the good professor and see how, it, see to it that he returns to Fall City safely. That, Johnny, is your first official mission. You'll need to travel through, go through the forest, and then head for the Crocker Tunnel. Once you get through the tunnel, Fall City is just steps away. Yay! We got our first official mission! Ah, oh, it's good to have you along, Jono. My well-being is in your hands. Okay, but I guess we're gonna do that mission next episode. So next time, Pokemon Ranger, we're gonna take Professor Hastings home to Fall City. I'll see you guys then.